friends welcome to miss suman's sg classes our today's concept is square root we are trying to find square root of numbers so when we say square root what does it mean it means that if i have 5 and i am saying 5 square is 25 so square root of 25 will mean it's two numbers when you multiply together to get 25 that is 5 So the square root of twenty-five is five. So these numbers, twenty-five, sixty-four, eighty-one, these are the numbers that have square roots with the whole number: two square four, three square nine, four square sixteen. You can do them very easily. But what about numbers like these, ninety-two? So these numbers can be easily handled with either factorization. or you can call it factor tree so we will divide 92 by 2 you can divide this number with any number the only thing is you should get a whole answer that means no decimals and no remainders till the time you are able to get no decimal no remainder answer we are good so 2 times 4 is 8 And two times six is twelve. So we will say for ninety-two we have two factors. That means two and forty-six. Since two is our prime number, I am going to circle it. Okay, let's go forward. Now let's see with forty-six, two and twenty-three. Two is our prime number. I am going to circle it. 23 is also a prime number so i'm going to circle 23 also now you can ask me miss suman what do you mean by prime numbers so prime numbers here means that you cannot get this number by multiplying any two numbers except itself and one for example 2 which two numbers can multiply to give you 2 that is 1 times 2 or 2 times 1 other than this combination there is no other two numbers that you can multiply to get to so all these numbers 4 4 is 4 a prime number of course you can multiply 1 times 4 is 4 4 times 1 is 4 but also 2 times 2 is 4 so that means 4 is not a prime number very good job so now you guys understood that prime numbers are those numbers which can only be obtained by multiplying itself with 1 so let's see what to do with this 2 2 and 23 so now what we will do we will make the sign and we will write all the numbers that we got inside it we say that these numbers are inside their home this is how we try to call them so they are inside their home so now we have to check which numbers are in pair pair means they should be two exactly same numbers so two and two are same numbers and there are two of them so i'm going to circle them they are making one pair on the other hand there is only 123 we don't have another 23 to help make it as a pair so we just have one pair here that is 2 so we will ask one member of this pair to come out so this was a pair 2 times 2 so since 23 is not in a pair we will still keep it inside the house so your answer here is 2 square root 23 since 92 does not have a whole number as square root so the answer here is 2 square root 23 there were two twos there was a pair inside so one of that member will come outside 23 does not have a pair it's going to stay inside so this is our answer let's look at another example so let's see 225 just looking at it since we all know the divisibility rule of 5 we know that we can divide this number using 5 so let's try with 5 5 times 4 is 
and 5 times 5 is 25. Perfect. So I'm going to write 225. We will divide it as 5 and 45. 5 is a prime number. Now we all know that, right? So for 45, we will say 5 times 9 is 45. So I'm going to again circle my 5. And for my 9, I am going to write 3 times 3. Now, 3 is a prime number. 3 cannot be obtained by any other way other than 3 and 1. So, 3 is a prime number. So, let me make a home and write all the numbers. 1, 2. 2 fives and 2 threes. So, I am going to make pairs now. These two are in pair and also these two are in pair. We talked about this. Only one member of this pair will come out. Multiply. We are multiplying. We are not adding. The most common mistake children do here is they start adding these two numbers. And one member of this family will come out. That is 3. So the answer is 15. When the member comes out, we will not write the sign of square root on the top now. So when the member is inside, as in this case, 23 stayed inside. So it was under the square root sign. But since here they are already in pair, so we will not write the sign of square root. Let's take a look at one more example, 360. So here usually kids ask me, Miss Saman, how we will know how to split it? You can split it through two. You can make factors using 4. You can make factors using 6. So my answer to you is you can do it either way. Any way you like. There is no problem at all. You want to start splitting it through 2. We can do that. Just for a case, let's try through 6. Let's do that. 6 times 6 is 36 and a 0. For this 6, you can split it into 2 times 3 is 6. Now you know 2 and 3 are prime numbers. 6 times 10 is 60. Again, 2 and 3. 2 and 5. Now all of them are as prime numbers. So let's make the sign here. Our home. Let's count carefully, okay? Be very careful while counting. 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to write 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2. 1, 2. And one more 5. Let me extend this sign here. The 2, these 2 will make one pair. They will come outside. These 3's will make a pair. They will come outside. We're going to multiply them, guys. Do not add them. The 5 is going to stay inside. The 5 is going to stay inside. Multiply by this 2 that is going to stay inside. So the answer is 6 under root 10. So the answer for 360 is 6 under root 10. This is your answer right here. I hope this is getting much better now. Okay, let's try the last example. 625. 5, 5 times 1 is 5. You have a 1 here. 5 times 2 is 10. You have a 2 here. 5 times 5 is 25. I am able to do it like that. If you have a problem, you can always try doing it this way. There is no problem at all. Instead of doing it wrong, feel free to do it this way. I hope now it makes sense from where I got my 125, okay? So since 5 is the prime number, I'm going to keep 5 as like this. 125, we will again split as 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 times 5 is 25. This 5 is again a prime number. 25, we will again split up as 5 times 5 is 25. Now the sign 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. 
We're going to make pairs, one pair and the second pair. This 5 will come here times 5. Should I make this sign on the top? Should I make this sign on the top? No, we're not going to do that. Why? Because we already made pairs and we brought one member of the family outside. So 5 times 5 is 25. So what is the square root of 625? It is 25. I hope you understood this concept. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.